Alright, so this is out of the Corporate Laws book here. And this is back in the Competition Act 2002 that I'm reading. Um, which under the Competition Act, You'll have the establishment of the appellate tribunal, which is your acting court, your appellate court, your appeals court. You'll have your appeals to your appellate tribunals, your compositions, your qualifications for those appointed chairpersons and members in acting of such tribunal um, appellates. Uh, it'll talk about selection committees, the term of office of chairperson and member of appellate tribunal. Um, it'll talk about vacancies and resignation of chairperson and members. But anyways, I want to go and, and just outline what the definitions of under this act for the short title extent and the commencement um, of this act that it may be called the Competition Act of 2002. It extends to the whole of India except the state of Jammu and Kashmir because our laws are actually coming out of India through an extension established by J and K. It shall come into force on such date as the central government of INDIA IA, that by notification in the official gazette appoints these definitions. In this act, unless the context otherwise requires, you have these following words that are brought into appellate courts most of the times. Acquisition, which means direct or indirect, acquiring or agreeing to acquire, to acquisition. And you're agreeing to acquire directly or indirectly in shares, in voting rights, and assets of any enterprise to which now a community working in collusion is now reference of enterprise by LLC, limited partnership, but major affiliation. And then acquisition means direct or indirect acquiring to agree to acquire control over management or control over assets of any enterprise. An agreement by definition to that word, to that term agreement, includes any arrangement or understanding or action in concert, in concert. Whether or not such arrangement, understanding, or action is formal or in writing, or whether or not such arrangement, understanding, or action is intended to be enforceable by legal proceedings. And when I read the enforceable earlier, I read it as enforceable. But then there's the appellate tribunal, which means the competition appellate tribunal established under, and it's weird that they give you the subsection and then the section because I would see it in forwards mode as the section given first, then the subsection, which you would go to after section. But this competition, competition appellate tribunal is under subsection one of section 53A, to which the appellate tribunals within their arrangements of legal proceedings include first the cartel, which includes an association of producers, sellers, distributors, traders, or service providers who, by agreement amongst themselves, limit control or attempt to control production, distribution, sale, or price of trade in goods for the provision of services by limits of their own agreements amongst themselves. Chairperson is a chairperson of the commission appointed under subsection 1 of section 9. Commission means the Competition Commission of India, established under subsection 1 of section 7. Consumer, and this is why I wanted to bring in this, uh, 
little video clip right here because of the consumer definition and that this word is what is playing in our uh, mainstream right now. So consumer means any person who buys any goods for consideration which has been paid or promised. Uh, any person who buys any goods for a consider consideration, a promise, or partly paid or partly promised under any system of deferred payment and includes any user of such goods other than the person who buys such goods for consideration paid or promised or partly paid or partly promised or under any system of deferred payment when such use is made with the approval of such person whether such per purchase of goods is for resale or for any commercial purpose for the personal use and that's important right there lighter please because it's basically saying now that this terminology has been partitioned into consumer and taken out as like you being a patient or you being an applicant, but you being now a consumer, is that they've already turned you over from their payment to a deferred payment where they were acting on your behalf under an approval of such person, whether such purchase was for goods or whatever, and that you were made uh, known of under any system partly promised or paid promise by the means of the greenbacks and the bonds and the monies because it's a legal tender but yet putting you in a by person american debt uh you are now deferred as the debtor to their part promise uh paid promise And so the consumer means hire or the avails of any service for a consideration which has been paid and to whom the consideration is coming from, stemming from, or promised or partly paid and partly promised under any system of deferred payment and includes any beneficiary of such services other than the person who hires or avails of the services for consideration paid or promised or partly paid and partly promised. Under any system of deferred payment which such services are availed or with the approval of the first mentioned person, whether such hiring or availing of services or for any commercial purposes, which is why they give you the application, so they act as that first person recipient to then distribute out what means uh, under their acquisition in uh, discretion. Director General means the Director General appointed under subsection 1 of section 16 and includes any additional joint deputy or assistant directors general appointed under that section. An enterprise means a person or a department of the government who or which is or who has been engaged in any activity relating to the production, storage, supply, distribution, acquisition, or control of articles or goods or the provision of services of any kind or in the investment or in the business of acquiring, holding, underwriting, or dealing with shares, debentures, or other securities of any other body corporate. So Social Security Administration would be enterprise that is in an act by the person of departmentalizing their engaging activity, that of which is relating to the production of acquiring your information and then distributing out upon either direct or indirect subsidiaries through debentures that are made on your behalf but investments made on theirs so shares that are acquitted to your name but you would have no uh, quotated idea and so um, the debentures or other securities of any other body corporate, either directly or through one or more of its units or divisions, which you would be the unit or the subsidiary of, whether such unit or division or subsidiary is located at the same place where the enterprise is located or at the different place or at the different places, but does not include any activity of the government relatable to the sovereign functions of the government, including all activities carried on by the departments of the central government, dealing with atomic energy. Uh, Currency, defense, and space. It says, for the purpose of this clause, activity includes the profession or the occupation. Did I pass this to you already? Did you pass it out? Who passed it to me? Did I pass? Did you? Did you? 
I'm not sure what just happened. Sorry. All right. Article includes a new article and service, which includes a new service. So article, like corporations would have to file articles of incorporation for their corporation into the Consumer and Affairs Department to be the license for the Department of Board and Licensing and stuff like that. It's all of them. It's each own service to include a new service is under a new article, so called the Act of. Unit or division in relation to an enterprise includes a plant or factory established for the production, storage, supply, distribution, acquisition, or control of any article or good. So what do you think we come in? An article of what flesh, right? A good of a branch, a vine, any branch or office established for the provision of any service, goods. What goods means is goods as defined in the sale of goods act. So we're coming out of a competition, appellate competition, tribunal act. 2002 into a sale of goods act 1930 which is 8 of 1930 to include goods in the sale of goods act under the products manufactured processed or mined debentures stocks and shares after an allotment you guys Think about this. The allotment is all that matters at this point. The lot, the loot, the loot, the lot, the allocations. This is back from the 1930s. There was already sales of good acts that came in to the 1930s, but that were debentures and stocks and shares after allotment, which would apply to lineage that we would have as a United States citizen because of the United States central government acting out of NDIA, the DIA, for agricultural needs, agri, agri, cultural needs, in relation to goods supplied, distributed, or controlled in India and goods imported into India, to which member means a member of the commission appointed under subsection 1 of section 9. You also go in to include the member or the chairperson. You get notification means a notification published in the official gazette and i would suggest you guys look up what gazette means in the official gazette at that but you do have your newspaper gazette person includes an individual you would think that would just bloop, be everybody be each and every person per individual and that's all you would have to say person means, right? Individual, a people. <laughs> but they go into saying an individual, a company, a firm, an association of persons or a body of individuals, whether incorporated or not, in India or outside India, you are a person. Also, a Hindu and Hindus, but Hindu undivided families are considered persons. Undivided. Any incorporation, sorry corporation established by or under any central state or provincial provincial act any corporation established by or under provincial acts government company is defined in section 617 of the companies act 1956 anybody corporate incorporated by or under the laws of a country outside india a cooperative society registered under any laws relating to cooperative societies, a local authority, every artificial juridical, juridical, 
Am I reading that correctly? <laughs> Juridical? We'll say like judiciary, maybe. Judiciary. But juridical person not falling within any of the preceding subclauses. I'm going to have to look up that juridical. An artificial juridical. No, not jurist. A juridical. A juridical. Juridical? Yes. Practice Juridical. includes any practice relating to the carrying on of any trade by a person or an enterprise. Prescribed means prescribed by rules made under this act. So when you get prescribed medicine, you is prescribed under rules of the competition and the good of sales act. Price. Price. In relation to the sale of any goods or to the performance of any service. Price includes every valuable consideration, which direct or indirect. Or deferred and includes any consideration which in effect relates to the sale of any goods or to the performance of any service, although ostensibly relating to any other matter or thing. Babe, can we get a pee? Here's an important one. Public financial institution. Hmm. Means a public financial institution specified under Section 4A of the Companies Act, 1956. It includes a state financial, industrial, or investment corporation to which our lineage would be held through some regulation, means that regulations made by the Commission under Section 62. Relevant market means the market which may be determined by the commission with reference to the relevant product market or the relevant geographic market or with reference to both the markets. So you have product market and a relevant geographic market. You have a relevant product market and a relevant geographic market. Relevant geographic market means a market comprising the area in which the conditions of competition for supply of goods